Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about coffee in our camper van. We wanted to talk to you about coffee in particular because it always seems to be one of those things that uh, is quite divisive. Uh, we love a good cup of coffee. I make coffee every day uh, in the house. I've got a really good espresso machine. I love it. It's, it feels like another hobby. But when we're in the van, I can't bring a full, you know, E61 brew head machine into the van with my grinder and you know all of that sort of stuff. It's, it's clearly not practical and. As much as I'd love to convert our California into one of those coffee vans where you serve it out the back and make a few quid as well, actually, I don't think I'm going to be allowed to do that. So what I thought I'd do is I'd, I'd make a brew. Um, I'd talk you through the things that I'm using to make the brew uh, as I go. So what make stuff is, the kind of things that we've got, um, what we want to do in future, because this isn't, this isn't the definitive coffee video. I do have plans to do one of those, but I need to get a few more bits of kit for that first. So first things first, let's switch on our fairy lights. And if you haven't seen that video of Sarah installing those, check this video out up here and you'll see them. Uh, so switch those on. Got to have some good lighting for these videos, so I'm told. Uh, so kettle, need to sort out the kettle. You saw that's collapsible kettle. This is an outwell one, uh, readily available. They do a couple of different sizes. This is the small one. Uh, so just going to fill it with a bit of water first. Just another strange point of note, we found the tap on this T6.1 California very different on the sink. So the actual sink is ratcheted, the actual uh, tap you have to turn on fully and then turn it off fully quite quickly otherwise it dribbles everywhere. So really important to make sure you do that. Right, let's turn our gas on. Get this started. And we'll do that. Just set that boiling in the background. Just going to open the window. Make sure that we've got good ventilation. Right, so I'll leave that uh, just boiling in the background while we talk about these other couple of bits. So, uh, Van Gogh bamboo mug, really like the bamboo stuff. It doesn't clink quite as much, so it's got a bit of a duller sound. So if you haven't quite packed it right, it doesn't clink around like the melamine stuff or the china. Uh, actually, it's quite nice and warm to hold as well. So I really like the bamboo stuff. And then the, you probably guessed from the capsules, this is a Nespresso capsule coffee machine. So it's a, it's made by Wakako, uh, it's called a Nano Presso, and you have to buy this, uh, it's like a, 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 a capsule uh, ring that goes in the top, it's an adapter. Uh, it allows you to use Nespresso capsules with it. So the way that this operates is, uh, it's a pump, so you undo that and then you pump it. Um, so you, first of all, you take the end off, this end unscrews, and then in here, is where you put your capsule, pop it all together, screw it all closed, fill that up to the line inside with uh, hot water, put it all back together, hold it over your mug, pump away, get your espresso out. So uh, I'm gonna uh, just wait for this kettle to boil, then I'll make a cuppa like that. I've got some milk in the fridge and we'll see how it tastes. So uh, should be uh, should be quite straightforward, should be quite easy. Clearly with this, no power required. It's quite small and compact. So then with that, you can just push it in, turn it. Comes with its own little storage bag. They've started doing a hard case for these as well now. And it's really nice and small and easy to keep in the cupboard. Uh, some people do use uh, a plug-in espresso machine, a small one. Um, doesn't work off the inverter. The inverter in the uh, Californias is, uh, I think it's 150 watts on the T6. Uh, only 300 watts on the T6.1, 
um, whereas one of those Nespresso machines generally uses about 1500 watts so you have to be on hookup for that um, because the plug socket in the end of the kitchen only works off hookup so when you've got a cable plugged into the back. So uh, yeah I'll uh, wait for the kettle to boil and then we'll give it a go see how we get on. Okay right I can hear this kettle's about there now so I'll switch that off. Now let's uh, let's have a go at this. I, I personally like the uh, Starbucks blonde roast capsules uh, easy to get in the supermarket and things so it's pretty straightforward so take that off take this off so you put your capsule in this side here push it into the little teeth in the bottom pop that back in there and then the whole thing screws together nice and tight you can take the uh, the end off here if you want to that is if you just have an espresso that is meant to be the cup for espresso it just pulls straight off the end there so that's quite handy as well uh, I like to have milk in mine so we'll do that so just grab my kettle so I'm just going to fill it up to the line inside a bit difficult to show you that Let's see whether you can see there we go pop that back on there so screw that back onto the top turn it over and then it does get quite stiff but you can hopefully see there that is a beautiful bit of espresso coming out and I'm the first to admit that Nespresso capsules aren't the strongest they're not the nicest tasting coffee in the world you know as I said at the start of the video I I'm used to making coffee I, I really like my coffee so you know I usually use 18 grams in 36 grams out grind my own beans fine tune it over a period of time you know really really love it and um, this is not like that um, so this does not give you a full barista style coffee in the van but it is nicer than Nescafe or one of the instants so uh, basically you just keep going through this just until it's finished so I'll be there in a second there we go now what I should have done to start with was I should have got some kitchen towel out Ooh. Uh, just to make sure it doesn't go everywhere so bear with me a second because you do just get a couple of drips which come out the end uh, so what you do then stand it up the other way there's usually a little tiny bit of water left over I'll clean that out in a second and what I tend to do is uh, we've actually had a melamine mug crack before because you shouldn't put boiling hot water in them but a quick tip is if you put a spoon in and run the water over the spoon when you fill up the cup so I'm just topping up this espresso into what would be an Americano but I'm going to be a heathen and have an Americano with milk whole milk obviously so pop that in there give it a quick stir see how we get on not bad not bad so in terms of cleanup uh, these are quite tidy actually for cleanup so just got to make sure you undo it in the same place that you did it up so around this silver ring and when you undo it you'll find that not a lot comes out and then with this bit you can just open this up that's your Nespresso capsule in there so you can take it out like that just give all this lot a quick rinse under the sink pop it back together again jobs are good remember this end where you put the water in has literally had water in so you just a bit of paper towel and uh, rinse that out it's only this end which uh, you need to clean out and just so you can see how it comes apart so you've got one piece there can undo this piece so that's your adapter ring and then that piece comes out of there like that so you've got four pieces quick rinse up in a bowl dry up really easy to put back together all done job done so let me know in the comments below how you make your coffee in the van really interested to know if there's any hints tips anything else that uh, you've come across to make a really good cuppa 
Uh, one thing that I do want to try, uh, and I'd be really interested if any of you have got one of these, is a Bellman stovetop uh, milk frother. Um, I think it's called a CX25S maybe, something like that. Um, and it's effectively a small kettle uh, with a little boiler on top. So you, you fill it with water, um, create steam pressure in the top, goes on the hob. Uh, it's got a steam wand on the side and a knob that you turn on so you get your steaming. So actually for this drink, I'd have been able to steam some uh, fresh milk and would have been able to uh, make it into a cappuccino, latte, flat white, etc. So um, yeah, really interested to try one of those because it might be the, the next step on our coffee journey in the van. So in terms of price, you can see here that they're £84.90 for both pieces that you'll need as I've used in the video. You can buy both individually, so uh, the adapter and the machine, and you can get them from other places other than Amazon. Really hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, uh, a bit different to one of the usual ones. Uh, I will put a link in the description below to the different things that we've used in the video here. None of this stuff is sponsored, so this is a genuine review. Uh, no bias from us uh, on any of these products. Uh, we've been using them for a long time. Really hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, can't wait to make some more like this. Uh, thank you to all of our subscribers. Uh, you've been absolutely amazing. Uh, if you like this kind of thing, please like and subscribe and we'll see you again soon for some more California time.